What's going on guys? We're here back again for another horror movie review that I just saw. Uh, the movie today is going to be 2023. It just got released. Uh, Candyland. I didn't see a lot of stuff about this one. It kind of just popped up a little bit of out of nowhere um, on my movie website. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go give it a try. I'm going to see what this one's all about. But before I do, before I go into this, I really need you guys to like, subscribe, comment on this review, share with all your friends. Let's get this thing known. Let's, let's go and get this out here because I really do enjoy giving these reviews and I like getting feedback at the same time. So with that being said, let's get into it. So it pretty much, it's a very small, tight uh, cast. You don't got a lot of people. I do believe this was a more of an indie budget kind of film. Uh, you have four main people in the, the movie. And what it is, it takes place at a truck stop. And the story is surrounding these people that uh, pretty much prostitute themselves for money. Or for money because they don't got nowhere to go. Um, just trying to get through with their life. The movie takes place in 1996. I think I really like that idea because it kind of gets away from the technology standpoint it gets the phones the apps all that stuff you don't really got to worry about that in this movie because it feels old school it feels more organic because you have um, like I said a different time period so I did really like that so it takes place with four people four main uh, I guess prostitute escorts whatever you could call them uh, three girls one guy so I'm gonna I'm, I wrote them down I made a little list of them so the main girl comes off as the main girl because you see her a lot more in the uh, movie. It, she goes by Sadie. Her name is Sadie. The one thing about these, you don't really get a lot of backstory with them except for the person that I'm going to introduce in a second. So the second person is Liv. You don't, she's probably the worst out of all of them because you don't see her as much in the movie really at all. She's in like a couple scenes. Um, and a spoiler alert right here, spoiler alert, she's the first prostitute to die. So you don't really see a lot of her in the movie. The third one you got is Riley. She's more of the rebel of the group. She's kind of a, uh, tries to be smart, tries to act smart like she's better than, well not better than everyone, but she just, you know, she's going to have a uh, comeback for you if you say something to her. So. I kind of like her the best. She's kind of the most uh, character based, I felt like personally. And then the third one was um, Levy. Now, Levy was the guy out of the four. And you see in this, in this that they're just trying to get by. Like, they're not bad people. They're just trying to get by. Um, a big name in here, which I was actually surprised to see. He plays the sheriff in this. He kind of is the one that keeps everything under control it, it comes off as. Uh, is William Baldwin. He's in the movie, which is kind of crazy if you think about that. So all of these people are being uh, ran with this person in charge, Nora. She's pretty much the one that takes control of everything. Like she's, It comes off like she sets the people up. She uh, schedules the appointments. And at the end, at one point, she comes to collect the money. So she has a big role in this movie. She is pretty much the pimp of the movie, you could say. So she's the one that goes and tries to bring people in. Which brings me to the person I was about to bring up. Her name is um, her name in this is Remy, and. She's a little bit of an odd character. So in the beginning, the movie starts with them sitting outside and they're talking, uh, just trying to talk to one another. So there's this bus that comes by with this little group of like religious cultist freaks. Uh, this guy, this girl in the front seat who ends up being Remy, and then one or two other people in the van. Either or. So the guy is telling the, them, hey, why don't you guys try to get your lives better? Come see Christ, you know, find yourself, all that. So they're not having it. They pretty much laugh the guy away and they drive off. So Remy goes with them because they don't know her yet. Well, fast forward, maybe, I don't know, later that night or something. 
the main girl that I told you, Sadie, she finds Remy sitting on one of the, the benches outside. So she said, what are you doing here? And pretty much they kicked her out of the the religious house that they were in because they saw something in her which didn't quite add up, which makes sense. So the four girl, well, the three girls and the guy take her in for a day or two. Nora gets her hands on her. And pretty much what they try to do is she tries to make her one of the, the prostitutes. And, but at the same time, there's a killer going around, stabbing people to death, putting their body like this, and then at some point, um, cutting out their eye. You know, we saw that with one of them. We don't know if it's all of them, but in, in that case, it made it feel like it was a kind of a, a ritual. Definitely with the whole crossing arms and a more spiritual thing. So that should be a religious thing. So that should be like the first thing right there where it's like a red flag with this girl. So fast forward, she ends up being the killer because she was telling them that I, I got to cleanse. I got to cleanse. I got to cleanse everyone. So what her meaning of cleanse was, was she didn't think that people could cleanse themselves. So she goes, kills them with this, this wooden cross. This thing is like this big and she pulls it out and there's a knife in the wooden cross. It's like a, a custom made knife. And so she goes, starts killing random people here and there. No one catches on to it. Fast forward. Um, we get to more of a, the climax of it and which is kind of crazy because let me back, let me backtrack a little bit. They were also explaining that there are four different locations in this truck stop so some are more intense some are more um light so they tried giving remy the light stuff first um the less awkward situations and um what ended up happening was she started killing people because <laughs> that's what she does so she started killing people as the movie progresses you see more and more how crazy she is all right now we get to about the end the climax of it so she starts packing out these bodies left and right it feels like she starts putting them in her room that the, that the nora girl gave her she goes in she goes and kills nora um she goes goes and kills the first prostitute that i told you about earlier that didn't really have a big thing going on uh live she goes and has a crush on the boy um as they're having sex she's she kills him okay she kills him too then she goes, runs into um, the one that I said that was more like the rebel, Riley, in the middle of the night, goes and kills her, brings all of them to this room, lays them all out, does the whole weird thing. So now we're at the point where Sadie is trying to find everyone because she, she something's going on. Goes into Remy's room, sees everyone dead. Gets into an argument with Remy. We think, I thought at least, that um, Sadie was going to be the final girl in this. Because of the way that things were playing out. She was finding herself. She was leaving. She was moving. She was. She's had enough. After all the killings, she's had enough. So she was leaving. So, and I've always gone by the Scream playbook. You know, I've always gone by that. You know, if you can find yourself at some point, you have a great chance to survive. But this didn't happen. Uh, Remy ended up killing her too. So what ended up happening was the sheriff came by for some reason or another and he goes, sees all the dead bodies in the room, sees the boy that was the prostitute that uh, he had this relationship with, uh, the hidden relationship because he was also married. So he sees all this going down doesn't think for one second that it's the girl she's sitting right there crying it's the girl so he goes puts her in the car she says can you drop me off at my home with the religious people she was gonna, she was going to try to get back in she goes in there they all killed themselves they all just straight up said screw you we're going to we're going to find uh the meaning in our own way which is what they were going to do from the beginning, but they, Remy was supposed to be with them for it. So it could be some kind of like all together 
type of uh, ritual. So at that point, the cop, the sheriff, um, William Baldwin finally realizes what's going on. Realizes what's going on and puts out his gun. He's going to arrest Remy. Remy takes the, the wooden knife that she's been killing everyone with and kills herself. Point blank, brutal, just brutally just kills herself off. And um, that's kind of where the movie ends, you know, as Remy's dying, the credits are going off, which I kind of like that touch. So overall, like, I really thought that this was a good movie, like it was so unique and so different. And I think it, it's, it was, it wasn't long, it wasn't short, it was the perfect timing for it. Um, at the same time, I think that it was a good wake up call, because this could take place in 2023 right now. And it would feel the same. You know, these people felt hopeless. They felt that there was nothing for them. So they went and tried to make a life of their own, whether what, how you feel about it. You know, people are in distress, people need help. And that's one thing that um, I thought was like an underlining message in this was people need help. And it's, it's a shame that we don't get that help when we can, when we can give them a hand. So overall, I gave this a four out of five star. I thought this was really, really good. Um, and that'll do it for this review, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I'm trying to be a little bit more thorough in my reviews too. If, if you got any questions, if you got any uh, critiques, let me know. If not, you know, enjoy your night. I hope you uh, watch this movie. Like I said, I think it was really good and Peace.